we're gonna be taking a look at this inexpensive little webcam. Um, I heard it got some pretty good reviews on Amazon, so we're gonna be taking a look to see if this works a little bit better than the webcam that's on my laptop. So this is a older HP laptop, but I actually have a Acer laptop, so we're gonna see if this one's a little bit better on that one. So we're just gonna try it out on this HP laptop first. Resolution 1920, 1080p. Max frame, 30 frames per second. Viewing angle, 98%. Built-in mic, actually cool, very cool. It's got software, drive, not required. Everything's pretty much built in into the uh, webcam. We're gonna be opening this box up real quick and see all the content in here. All right, so this is the content. Okay, so here's the webcam. It's got a nice little rugged design on this. For your sense of uh, privacy right here, it's got a slide uh, cover on it. It's got the little grooves in here so you can screw it onto a tripod. It's got this section right here so you can place it over the back end of your laptop, top end of it. And uh, yeah, so pretty cool. Got the built-in mic. I guess when the light is lit, that means that the mic is muted. Um, what else is on here? Okay, so here's a wire for the USB. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, okay, here's the a little tripod. So it's just a simple little tripod, little cheap little tripod. But if it works, it works. Not very solid either. You can kind of feel like the uh, little legs are hollow. And this plastic piece right here. I don't know. I'm not sure if this is gonna be very good as a tripod, but if it works, awesome. We're gonna go ahead and install it into the uh, laptop. Actually, you don't actually need the software for it because everything's built in. So it should automatically uh, recognize it. You can set it up as a default uh, camera. So let's go ahead and uh, turn this on and uh, see how well this works. Once again, I paid $12 for this thing after a 5% uh, discount coupon from Amazon. So I'll leave a link down below so in case you wanna pick one of these up. Specs, there's the same specs I gave you earlier. And uh, privacy lens cover, microphone status LED, flexible clip base, 1080p, mute button, mic, USB cable. And um, so it tells you the uh, mic is muted. There'll be a light on there, green or red. And um, how to set it on the back of the laptop. Kind of like stabilize them on the back of the uh, laptop right there with the uh, leg downwards. And plug it in. So supposedly it just connects and it automatically recognizes the uh, webcam and mic. Even for Mac users, it uh, shows you how to adjust it, the volume. Yeah, so basic instructions. So let's go ahead and uh, place it onto the laptop. Okay, so let me go ahead and get the wire. The camera and wire, this is, since it's all in one, built in directly inside the webcam. Okay, so so now we're going to place this on the top part of the laptop. All right, so the wire is uh, loose. Right, so here's the USB. So I'm going to connect that to the port, USB port. And this uh, camera, I'm gonna place, so just lift it up like this. And so you just pretty much set it up like this. Hook it onto the front of the uh, laptop. And then the back end, just kind of curve it down so it just reaches the back of the laptop. So it should support the camera just like this. 
All right, so here's how it's supposed to look on the front end. So you just slide this once you have the camera ready for recording purposes and slide it whenever you don't want it to record. And then this is the USB connection right here. So here's the USB cord and just connect it. So it automatically made a chime. I'm not sure if you heard that or not. So it should indicate down here in the bottom that there's a camera or you should be able to hear the, uh, the chime that, that it is connected. Okay, so let's go to privacy and security. Scroll down till you find the camera setting. Click on camera. Okay, so down here in the camera access, you have to click yes if it's not collected already. Okay, so down here in the uh, camera device settings, click on that. Then you'll find the Z5 camera. Click on that. Should automatically recognize the camera on top. So there goes that. I'm going to close this out. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into StreamYard and it should be able to um, allow camera access to the uh, webcam. Or if you were to use Zoom, you should be able to uh, select it as your uh, camera that you're going to be using. Okay, so create recordings. Okay, so we're going to change the camera now because it has an option here for camera. Okay, go to settings, camera. Down here on the slide bar, it should say Z5 camera. Oh, look at that. Uh, I thought the quality was going to be worse than the one that's on my laptop, but actually it's a lot better than the actual Okay, let's uh, compare camera to my laptop. So we're going to go over to the C5 camera. Look at the wide camera angle that's on here. And uh, wow, it looks pretty impressive. The quality, the, the light and everything looks a lot better than the actual uh, laptop HP camera. See the quality on this thing for 12 bucks. This is a major upgrade. It looks so much better. It has the privacy uh, cover on it, so just slide that over if you don't want to have your stuff on camera. And the and it adjusts pretty well. You can uh, you can I guess move in and out of the camera without it. Uh, you know having a hard time to focus all right so let's go to audio and uh, yeah it automatically switches over to the uh, Z5 as the default microphone right there on the top so and um, once you change it back to your um, laptop it should automatically change the audio to the default oh actually it does it's still using the microphone from the uh, camera right here so we can change it back to your uh, uh, laptop camera so you'll have to just fiddle with that but camera wise you could just switch it out so easily you definitely get a much nicer crisper uh, camera than the uh, default laptop uh, camera well, this is a older HP laptop this is a major upgrade for 12 bucks I think that's a steal so I'm gonna leave a link down below um, like you saw it's not that difficult to connect it um, you just have to give it the permission to um, you just got to give it the permission on your laptop settings on the uh, camera and the microphone in case it doesn't uh, um, recognize the mic but yeah this is a pretty awesome awesome upgrade I don't know a lot about cameras and stuff like that for laptops but i think what i can see is definitely an upgrade for twelve dollars i have a uh, mac or something like that they usually have a very good um, camera on it and the uh, since this is an older laptop then this is definitely an upgrade for 12 bucks can't beat that um, i think it's a five percent discount on it too so you know it will take out some of the uh, charges on the uh, taxes pretty much what it does so it was like eleven dollars and 
under 12 bucks for this right here and like i said it has a built-in microphone on it and it has the privacy little screen cover kind of thing and um the design on here is pretty good it's not a very instructive and it's kind of small so yeah it's pretty decent and um, if you're worried about space so we're going to go ahead and just connect the uh, little tripod that came with just to give you guys options on what you can do with this camera in case you want to set it on the side or something like that so let me find that real quick all right so here's a tripod that comes with it real basic tripod you can get a more expensive tripod if you want to set it to the side or something like that but how i'm going to set it up is basically just on the top but let me show you what you can do here you fold that down and you screw it in directly there we go so it's nice and tight and this kind of tightens it up this little wing nut right here tightens it up and you can set it up just like that on the side if you choose to uh, have it on the side of your laptop all right, so this is how it looks on the uh, little tripod to give you. You can move it around. Real simple design right here. If you wanted to, you can put little cushions on the bottom so it won't slide around if it's on something slick. But you know, I'm not going to actually uh, use this uh, little tripod. But it's you know convenient if you want to use it and it's something you know extra and free so the microphone right now is on that's why the light is on green and if you wanted to uh, mute it you can mute that directly onto your laptop i wish it had a little uh, mute button on the wire or something like that but uh, it doesn't so or a little mute button on the side but you can mute it directly by uh, clicking whatever application you're on on the mute button so this is pretty much it um for the price, 12 bucks is a steal. The uh, brand, I'm going to leave the information down below. If you guys want to go ahead and purchase one, I'll leave a link down below also. So, yeah, 12 bucks. I think this is a good deal. I couldn't find a better deal if I wanted to. For 12 bucks, I think this is a definite steal. The uh, quality is so much better than the laptop. This is, like I said, this is an older laptop, but um, it's like me about four or five year old laptop. But the uh, quality on this camera, is superb um the audio i'm not 100 percent sure about the audio but i think it would record audio pretty well uh, with the built-in mic on here so yeah pretty good deal right here 12 bucks and uh, so thanks so much for watching this video hit that like button subscribe if you're new to this channel on this channel i do star wars funko pops black series toy reviews black series helmet reviews and pretty much anything stars related i can get my hands on and also do little uh tech reviews like that inexpensive tech reviews so if you guys want to uh, subscribe to my channel appreciate your support and uh thanks so much for watching we'll see you on the next one peace